All right, welcome back uh, this week. If uh, you didn't hear the first segment, uh, I'm Vince Rowe. I'm sitting in for Michael Yorba, who's out on assignment. And our second section covering the bottom of the hour. Joining us is George Rutherford. George, are you with us? Uh, certainly, and how are you today? Uh, George, I hear they they they, uh, they call you the Rock or Rock. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> well, shouldn't be in quotes. That is your name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Rock. Let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, your optimum uh, optimum cyber systems and what do you do there and and some of the things that you guys special in specialize in. Well, optimum cyber systems. Uh, Traded publicly over the counter under OCSYD. And what we've done is we've developed a suite of four related services that uh, have been combined effectively in cyber security threats from basically any IT environment. Mm-hmm. All our patented product development consists of leading cyber security experts from some of the best minds in the industry. Uh, as far as our products, we designed to be. Easily implemented, efficient, comprehensive, cost-effective, very long in industry, the medical sector, the mortgage industry, that sector, and about to announce the defense and petroleum programs being completed right now. Plus, the technology is transferable to all applications, and it's easily scalable to any size of IT environment would happen to the approach of them. It's, it's, it's basically because of the success of our initial development, the decision was made to reach the public markets to accelerate our development. And now that we are trading publicly as OCS ID and with the public exposure on service of the home, CEO of money, mm-hmm. we're developing a great interest in our patent development in the cybersecurity sector. In you know, the cyber at all. Foresight to know that our work blockchain application would be revolutionary. And quite frankly, the way one thinks about adding blockchain into their environment, they should be consulting Optimum Cyber. And realizing that it should be to make sure documents can't be changed is a fantastic experience. But they're kidding themselves with our programs. Yes. This isn't a Bitcoin mining, it's blockchain technology that makes Bitcoin work. As for what we do, cybercrime is now the fastest growing, both domestically and worldwide, according to the most recent, you know, published FBI reports. Mm-hmm. So, George, I, I don't know if you heard, I was talking about uh, some of the interesting things, because you guys kind of skew towards the health care systems that people may not even realize that are ways in for, uh, you know, to, to, to commit these type of crimes in some of the well, different medical devices that, that they have access to. Isn't that interesting? You are absolutely correct. And, and, um, I think that uh, the, the key, as we predict right now, is that uh, another child you know, attacks about every four seconds in the United States. And uh, with that math, you know, it's predicted to exceed $8 billion by 2018. Mm. The main thing, going back to even the medical is that we are totally independent of obligations to any corporation or developer of IT. And since we only owe our allegiance to our clients, our cyber vulnerability assessments are meant for the exclusive use of our clients without any outside person. Mm-hmm. Uh, once we've completed our cyber vulnerability audits, we return and discuss with the client's board, and then we'll recommend the fixes that are needed and suggest the best for our clients. Hmm. However, you know, I'm not trying to kid you, because of our independence, we will recommend our own products and services if they decide to move from other vendors and request uh, Optimum Cyber Systems to install our managed security services program on a continuing basis. Hmm. And the decision to go into medical, it was a natural choice for us. Uh, it's been the number one target for hackers and medical ransomware for years. And the industry was held hostage to the tune of uh, hundreds of millions of dollars just last year alone. Mm-hmm. It's been demonstrated now that it's possible to transmit life 
threatening signals to implanted medical devices. I remember when Vice President Dick Cheney ordered a change to his pacemaker to better protect it from hackers. There were those who wondered why. And then you look at Johnson and Johnson and warned all their customers about the security bugs in one of their insulin pumps. Mm-hmm. Our board has more than 100 years of experience in the medical field, but the threat's still there. It's very real and it's growing. Mm-hmm. As far as medical information, it's very personal. Everyone can relate to that. Uh, medical records and devices are being manipulated or stolen continually. So that was a, a, a gift for us. As far as our CEO has extensive experience with cyber security in this particular field, mm-hmm. and the board members, and hospital networks, executives of hospitals, surgeons, cyber security experts, uh, we have tremendous experience in the medical field. And, and so that that's just one of the fields. And so when we come back from the break here, is it like to talk to you about you know you kind of alluded to it in the in the very beginning, but uh, talked about some of the other 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 segments that uh, you're finding unique things like pacemakers and other things that are uh, things that could be hacked. And uh, on the other side, let's talk a little bit more about the management team and some of their experience and some of the things they've done. So this is Vince Rose sitting in for Michael Yorba here on CEO Money. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. Uh, just in case, I'm going to mention it one more time. Vince Rose sitting in for Michael Yorba, who is on assignment this week. And right before we went to the break, we started and we're left on the edges of our seats with uh, George Rutherford and uh, Rock. We're going to call him Rock since that's his name, we found out. And uh, he's from uh, Optimum Cyber Systems, talking about some of the cyber threats and the things that are out there that uh, I guess some of them we didn't even know about. I'm glad I don't have a pacemaker to be hacked. So it's kind of interesting, all, all of those type of things. So, so Rock, can, you mind if I call you Rock? I hope it, that's Not okay. At all. Yeah. So, so Rock, tell us a little bit about uh, you know some of those other systems and uh, uh, some of the other areas that you started to allude to in the beginning of the show that uh, you guys are involved in, whether whether the type of uh, cyber crimes and, and things well, that what, you guys are yeah, whether, covering. Whether it be just normally what applies to the field. You know, we read about hacking and malware and the mm-hmm. latest vulnerabilities in cyber warfare. Those are just you know, mundane everyone, now, huh? They're just mundane hacks. Those are the old school stuff. You, you guys are yeah, into that. Everyone just, they, they understand that as a security breach, you know, whether it's right. uh, uh, personal identification, ransomware, the theft of intellectual properties, which we have a large clientele working with there. And this applies to all fields. Optimum Cyber is already working or being solicited with the medical industry, the defense industry, mm-hmm. mortgage industry, shipping, petrochemical, and all industries. Mm-hmm. So we have a, a, our programs which work in all those industries and are adaptable very easily. And so what's your engagement like with a, with a, a company that's interested in your services? What is uh, from, from the analysis that you talked about a, l- a little bit and then the, the finding stage, is that implementation, is, is, is there you know, some unique things that in implementation you guys do that, that, that kind of make you stand out, that you're different? Well, I think the, the, the key is that, uh, the availability of any industry that we go into is that it's a comprehensive analysis that we do through our CVA, our Cyber Vulnerability Assessments. Mm-hmm. And so that uh, it, as far as pricing and ex- expenses, it really does. It's, it's kind of like people who have hire, hired other individuals that hire OCSY to audit what they've actually done. And that's what we would do mm-hmm. uh, with each of the industries that we're working with now. Uh, whether it be, as I mentioned, uh, in the uh, medical or in, with the, the admin of the blockchain technologies, mm-hmm. or whether it be the fact that our, we have put together such an impressive board to continue to uh, you know, develop our company. Right. Um, and one of the cornerstones, I, I was just going to mention, one of the cornerstones here is near and dear to my heart because that's where I kind of grew up in, in the business industry was educate. You, you talk about education, and that's, that's always the, the hard part sometimes is to educate individuals as how much there is a threat because sometimes it's not what they want to hear, right? 
it's very, uh, it's very turned right on point. In fact, that uh, when we come in, if they, uh, if we are hired to continue on as uh, on a continuing service basis, like a managed security service program, mm-hmm. one of the things that keys is the education of the employees and, uh, and the contractors that work within that environment. Uh, that's normally the one of the uh, key points that a hacker. Uh, someone from the dark side comes in for. Uh, and that's why we, you know, when we refer to products that we are in the midst of developing or uh, changing with other companies, it's always the key point is that we're not obligated to anyone. Uh, so we are really working just for our individual client. And it, it varies in, uh, cost-wise from the size of the you know, large or small, but uh, you first have to start with a CVA, a cyber vulnerability assessment, before we can, you know, do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we are, uh, we have put together a, a, what we consider a very outstanding management group. Uh, yeah, I was just going to talk management. about, so the last couple of minutes we have here, I was going to ask you about the rock stars you got in ma- management that you guys uh, well, threw at these okay. issues. We comprised, we comprised our team with the leaders in every field. Uh, General Hart Beasley to guide us in the defense uh, department and through contractors, and uh, Mark Anderson, the chairman of the Anderson Group, to guide our medical. And he's one of the leading national speakers on health care and physician practice. practice. He's spoken in more than 850 conferences and meetings. Mm-hmm. And then we have Mike Russell, who's just elected to serve his fifth straight term as chairman of the largest American Petroleum Institute chapter. Uh, we have Dr. Corey Jamal for our medical technologies and Dr. Sue Lear for our uh, errors and emissions insurance for the mor- and also for the mortgage industry. Mm-hmm. The real issue is that today our sector is approximately 100,000 short of qualified cyber engineers. And it could be over 200,000 by the year 2020, just a year and a half away. So all the things that we do are always in motion. And just like the other side, they're the bad team, we're the good team. You bet. Hey, Rock, (laughs) I'm going to have to run. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Taking the time. Sorry about the speed bump in the middle of that, but uh, I think think we had a really good section here. We learned a lot about uh, Optimum. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, Rock. Uh, Yes, wonderful.